video will guide you through the process of the data function construction based on visual workflow using typical data science. And after that, this data function will be applied in typical Spotfire, which will be the front end for final users. We will show really a simple one functionality example in this demo. So let us start with the construction, of the visual workflow. Um, this is typical data science workbench, formerly known as Statistica. And there is already uh, one arbitrary data file open. Um, we can see that there are some yield and, and some parameters and some continuous uh, measurements for this data. So we will add that to the workspace, which is this visual workflow environment. And in this environment, you can, you can create your uh, data science pipelines. Uh, in our example, we will use only one functionality. So let it be uh, correlation metrics. And inside, uh, we need to define, of course, the variables. So star means that all variables will be selected. And in the downstream, we'll choose what will be the output of that data function, of that uh, functionality. So the output is this correlation matrix. Uh, as a downstream document and here there are reporting documents which is some container of all the analysis of all the nodes and this is the same output uh, as well. Uh, now we will save this uh, to be used further uh, in, in, a, in a Spotify application so we will we will save it as a correlation or core. Now we will jump into, into Spotfire, which is now empty. Spotfire is interactive visualization tool. If we go to the data, we can see that we have here uh, a different data set with some measures and some categories like gender and advert. So it's, it's a different data set. And we would like to apply this correlation function to this measures, right? So how to do it? We will go to tools, statistica, and we will define our data function. So we will open a workflow from the local disk. It's this one which we have created. Once it's, it's loaded, we will review the inputs and outputs. So we have only one input, which is data. For outputs, we have two. Um, one is from downstream document and one is from reporting documents, but they are the same, so it doesn't matter. And parameters, uh, there can be chosen also some a definition of the parameters for the correlation metrics, but we will not need to set any. So done. Now we need to define what will be assigned to what. So for input data, we would like to send to this workflow um, our new file uh, information, which means these measures. They will be sent instead of the data which are originally in the workflow. And as an output, we will create a new data table which is called correlation matrix. Um, it was run for the first time under the hood so if I go to the data sources I will see that I have now a new data uh, called core uh, called correlation matrices and it's 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 to the correlations of these measures. And now uh, try, we will try to do some visuals. So for tables, we will insert the table, which is the correlation metrics, and maybe we would like to uh, incorporate into this dashboard also some information about gender and advert, our categories. And we would like afterwards to compute um, the, cor uh, the correlation metrics only from this, uh, from this, from some categories. So let us insert. The bar chart here with the gender uh, and, and advert and we would like now this is static but we would like to this be recalculated uh, after we choose some category so to do that we need to change things a bit um, we're going to the settings and here we want to refresh automatically and we want to apply the actual marking now we can see that after I, I, I will highlight anything, mark something, this this um, correlation matrix will change. And the last week to have it more visually appealing, we can change the colors of this measure of, of these correlations. So we will add uh, 
color scheme for these meshes. And we will have three values. One is the value one, which are positive, which is positive correlation with the blue color, value zero, which is say not correlated values, and the, the last one will be value minus one, which will be in the color red. So now I have also color coding according to the correlations. So if I choose something else, it will recompute and also make a different cost. So this is also a showcase how you can quickly and simply create a dashboard application because in, in fact, this is the app final application for, for the user. And we leverage the data function based on visual workflows, which is a very simple way how to create uh, the data functions without coding. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.